Welcome to My Little Book Club. My name's Diana, and I can't wait to talk about books with you all. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. Today, I'm going to tell you about Save the Date. Um, I'm giving this four stars, like four and a half. It is really, really good, but it's also super predictable, which I don't always like. In this case, I did like it. Um, because it was just what my brain needed was something easy to read but it is pretty predictable and pretty corny which works for me some days so I'm gonna go ahead and read the inside of it for you real quick everyone is coming home all her older siblings it'll be just like it used to be one last weekend together before her parents sell the house Charlie doesn't want to think about college next year or things changing she just wants to make this a perfect weekend what could go wrong well, first the wedding planner quits, then the house alarms won't stop going off. Charlie's biggest crush shows up unannounced. There's a missing tuxedo, an unexpected dog, and a neighbor bent on destruction. Not to mention the event planner's assistant who is surprisingly distractingly cute. And that's before things get really crazy. In all of the chaos, Charlie will learn more than she ever expected about the family she thought she knew by heart, and she'll realize that sometimes trying to keep everything like it was in the past means missing out on the future. That last little part that she that Charlie learns about, that's, that's like the key to the book. Um, as far as what I took away from it, it was a good reminder to me. Because <coughs> I can get stuck in not wanting to let things change. And that's not always healthy. So this book is a, is a little bit predictable, but that worked for me. That was where I needed to read. I'd been reading a lot of deeper books this month. So this was perfect way to end my month with this simple, predictable, sappy, little fun story that reminded me or gave me like a father of the bride type feel. It was full of laughter, full of chaos, just over the top silly things. Everything that could go wrong was going wrong and they were funny and it was making me laugh. You got a dog digging up a garden and a dad who's obsessed with his flowers and is telling his daughter where, he, where she can and cannot set things up because it might ruin his garden. And so many other things. There's, you know, the siblings, five siblings there that what you got a bunch of siblings there's gonna be a lot of things that go wrong four siblings three si I was right three si five siblings sorry um, I love that each chapter opens up with a cute little comic and you will learn as you read what the why the comics are in there and by the end of the book, it's like you've been wrapped up in a big, warm, fuzzy hug. Everything, you, you it's like a feel-good story at the end. Um, there's, I mean, it's not that everything ends happily, but more of just the realization of life and what happens in life and like everything's going to be okay still. Like bad things happen, but life's still gonna be okay. It's a good little fuzzy, feel good moment with definitely some sappy moments that and I love sappy stuff so if you need something quick to read grab this book it'll leave you with tons of laughter tons of love tons of feel good fuzzy moments so thanks for watching and again save the date by Morgan Matson. I highly recommend it to be read at least once in your life thanks for watching Talk to you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can see all of my uploads. Um, and also make sure you like the video if you liked it and let me know what kind of books you'd love to hear about. Love to hear from you all. Bye. Subscribe. Bye.